you went out with him again. And you did that without my consent. She does not have any sibling anywhere. She's an only child. Anybody knows my trouble, you for my picking trouble. I got big time, baby. I got big there. I was three months pregnant when you fired me and threw me out of the house. Yes, she's breathing, but she cannot even blink her eyes. She can't move her fingers. She can't do anything. We've done everything that's needed to be done. But all her results came out fine. So this is my father. You need my father this. Your father don't die! Even before I born you, your father don't die, you know that. I spent good 19 years without my father. Good 19 years without my father. My very jovial and happy baby. She's lying here like some vegetable. She can't even say good morning, mom, to me anymore. I need to keep staying strong for daddy, okay? You've been a very strong girl. to keep fighting. I have longed for a father's love. But there is another part of me that feels like you do not deserve to be called my father. She needs to be in the same space as her entire family. Particularly her father. Now you have a child, Wally. You are so insensitive. What would, okay, what would you rather I do? No, tell me, what would you rather I do? If there's a child out there that can make her daughter better, you don't think I should go look for her? You don't give me belay, you walk out of this village. You know I suffer. My family is showing my teeth. If you don't stop this madness of yours, I will be forced to keep you away from your father. Keep me away from my father. <sighs> you want to risk me being sick again? How could you bring in your very disrespectful and ill-mannered baby mama into our house without consulting me? I, I, I faced the same issue when I was 12 years old. And they took me to my father. And that's when I go better. Wait, wait, you're saying that you experience this sickness as well? I'm a father. And the DNA tests is the only thing that can put this mother to rest. 